two open strings, D and B strings played together, and a hammer on on that D string with your second finger, second fret. Follow through with an open G, then open A, sounds like this. comes the slide up to the 7th fret so it's a slide 3rd finger 7th fret on the D string now you bar it with your 1st finger a half bar across the treble strings so that's on the 3rd, 2nd, 1st string back to 2nd pinky on the 7th fret and then move up to 6th fret with your 1st finger and 8th fret with your pinky. Play it together. Open B comes next and finish it off with 3rd finger on the 8th fret G string. So sound like this from the slide. Again. And back to the opening thing. string with the open. So keep your second finger on that D string. Open B, open G, and then switch it to F sharp. Third and fourth fingers now tuck in to make that A sus2 shape. So it's gone from here. Fourth fingers in place, and then all the way up to the open E. Go to that one again. G, F sharp, F, E. Finish on the A. Back again. Back to the slide. sharp minor ninth chord so for this one um, I'll show you where it comes in so the G F sharp second finger on the fourth fret of the A string C sharp, first finger, a bit of a stretch back to the second fret on the D string, third and fourth tucked in again on the G and B strings respectively, and we're going to go all the way through to the open E, make sure you've got enough clearance on your first finger to have that E string open. There's a bit, uh, bit tricky. Uh, it's a long note on that first C sharp, and then it runs through to the open E, and that lingers a little as well. And back to that D string where there's another little gap before it plays the C sharp again. C sharp power chord this time. So that first thing on the C sharp, fourth fret, A string, and then third and fourth fingers on the D and the G strings on the sixth fret together. Now I switch it to a sixth fret little bar there, so I can put the uh, second, my second finger onto the seventh fret. E string and play those two strings together again. We get this. So it's power chord, switch, 
6th fret bar, little half, kind of push on these two strings here. I'm going to be in the bass, and then I put back onto the 3rd and 4th fingers on the D and G strings. 6th fret, I'm going to open A, and uh, again. It does that twice. I do that so that I can slide it down two frets, fourth fret here for the next one, second finger on the G sharp here in the bass. This is where it drops down. Same again here on the second fret. Again from the net power chords. Try and count two, three, four after hitting that last chord like this. Set on about 65 and, um, and keep the timing that way because 80% of the track is timing, especially when we incorporate the electric, which is what I'm going to do right now, seeing as that's the end of the acoustic part. There's not much to it really, um, and once you've mastered those little uh, acoustic lines, uh, you can then go on to the electric bit and show somebody else that acoustic bit or record it yourself and and um, and try it uh, try and play along as a duet so the electric is pretty much all about octaves to begin with mm -hmm. uh, it starts with a little grace note so first finger onto the 8th fret D string, sliding up to the 9th fret, and your 4th finger ready to play, and you can have it on the 12th fret of the B string if you like, like this. And there's that definite little note before the octave kicks in, and straight up to 14th and 17th fret, back down, and then up to 12, 15, down to 7th, twice more, and then once more to slide up to where you started on the 9th and 12th fret. So once again, all the way up, back again, up to 12, down to 7, twice, and then a slide up. Okay. And I do it all on the same strings so that uh, you can just have a look at the first finger positions as you play it. I mean, you can do it this way, uh, where you play it here, and then switch strings. There yeah, are a number of ways you can do it, but I, I just prefer to keep it on the same strings. Helps that legato or continuity. string sliding up to the 13th fret 
First finger. Second finger onto the 14th fret, second string. Reach up to the 16th fret, second string with your third finger. And then straight up to the bend. So that's the note you're aiming for on the 17th fret, but you do on the 16th. There we go. Back to the 14th fret, first finger. And then third finger, third string. 16, follow through. Second finger, 16th fret of the D string. And this is the one that's gonna move down to the 14th fret on the D string. And then down again, first finger, 13th fret D string. Go really slowly. So the next bit. Yeah, sometimes I play the the notes, and other times I'll just let it ring. So you can do it this way if you like. Okay, the next bit is eleventh fret bend on the third string, down to the first finger, first finger down again, like that. just down to eighth fret there. frets to the eleventh fret of the D string again. You can play them all if you like. And then all the way down to the fourth fret, second string. This bit is a um, hammer on pull off onto the fifth fret, back to the fourth. to the 6th fret, 3rd finger on the 3rd string, 1st finger, 4th fret, 3rd string, now the next part, 6th fret down to 4th fret on the D string, now you don't hear much of the 6th fret, so it's, it's really very much aiming for that 4th fret, that's the note you want, but you want a little slide before you get to it. to the seventh fret on the A string. Okay, second finger sliding up to the seventh fret of the A string. First finger on the third string, sixth fret. A bit of a jump over the string there. So seventh fret, sixth fret, first finger. Third finger on to the eighth fret, third string. Fourth finger, ninth fret on the third string. Second finger on the seventh fret D string. And the last bit is the harmonic on the E string in the bass, twelfth fret. Slide up to the first one, first finger, and you can bar it, but after, bar it after you slide. Fourth string, third string, second string, second finger on the tenth, and then up to twelfth fret on the B string, and then ten to nine on the D string. Okay, so from here. time. 